the giant tortoise. Arguably the most recognizable animal in Galapagos. It even gave the islands their name. Galapago means tortoise in Old Spanish. Biologist Steve Blake has been studying the epic journeys these giant tortoises make. Basically, tortoises follow where the good food is, and the greenness of the vegetation depends on the elevation. So as seasonal swings in rainfall kick in through the Galapagos year, the tortoises follow that sort of pendulum of greenness as it moves up and down the island. But these seasonal migrations have been affected by the arrival of humans. Puerto Ayora, the largest town in Galapagos, was settled in 1925 as a small fishing village. Since then, in the space of just one tortoise generation, the population has exploded to over 12,000 people. Steve wants to discover what impact this is having on the ancient tortoise roots. He's been fitting them with satellite tags to follow their movements. We have about 30 odd tortoises wearing GPS tags on Santa Cruz. And those tags, each one records a GPS fix of the tortoise every hour. Steve's tagging reveals the huge distances tortoises travel to find food. Some migrate from sea level to the peaks of volcanoes. But now, Steve's also discovering that the ever-increasing human population here is having a major impact on these well-worn paths. 100 years ago, this giant tortoise behind us was already migrating up and down Galapagos, but in completely natural vegetation. Today, that same tortoise encounters very different conditions up here. Fences, roads, and other barriers that potentially block that migration. It's not just the future of giant tortoises that's at stake. These reptiles play a vital role in the whole ecosystem here. They've been called the gardeners of Galapagos. As they plough through the vegetation, they spread seeds and clear plants, creating light and space for new ones. They even stir up insects for birds to eat. Without these migration routes, allowing giant tortoises to find the food they need, these islands would look very different. Identifying and mapping these important routes will help to inform future expansion plans. The trick will be how to sustain the migration, give tortoises what they need against the backdrop of development of Galapagos. <laughs>